It's not every day we get to see George Clooney and Brad Pitt together on screen. These Hollywood heavyweights have a history of delivering box office hits. Their last outing together, outside the Ocean's franchise, was Burn After Reading, back in 2008. Fans were ecstatic to see them reunite for Wolves. The anticipation was palpable. Everyone wanted to witness their on-screen magic once again. Wolves was initially slated for a grand theatrical release. The anticipation was palpable, with fans eagerly awaiting the chance to see their favourite stars on the big screen. This seemed like a no-brainer given the star power involved. With George Clooney and Brad Pitt headlining, the film was expected to draw massive crowds and generate significant box office revenue. However, in a surprising turn of events, the film was pulled from the theatrical schedule. Fans were left in shock and disappointment as the news spread. Instead of a theatrical release, it landed directly on Apple TV+. This unexpected move caught everyone off guard, from industry insiders to casual moviegoers. This decision raised eyebrows across Hollywood. What prompted this change? Speculations ran wild, with theories ranging from financial considerations to strategic partnerships. Was Apple TV Plus unsure about the film's box office potential? The empty cinema halls and declining box office sales in recent times might have influenced their decision. Or was this a strategic move for the streaming platform? With the rise of streaming services, securing exclusive content has become a key strategy. The reasons remain unclear, but one thing is certain. The landscape of film distribution is changing rapidly. As streaming platforms continue to grow in popularity, we may see more films bypass traditional theatres altogether. This shift could redefine how we experience movies, making them more accessible to a global audience. The reaction from critics and fans has been mixed. Some appreciate the convenience of streaming, while others mourn the loss of the communal theatre experience. Only time will tell if this decision was a stroke of genius or a missed opportunity. Wolfs dives into the shadowy world of fixers. George Clooney and Brad Pitt play Jack and Nick respectively. They are the best in the business cleaning up messes for a powerful and secretive organisation. Their latest assignment seems routine at first. However, things take a dark turn. Jack and Nick find themselves entangled in a dangerous conspiracy. They must fight to survive and uncover the truth. Despite boasting two of Hollywood's biggest names, Wolves failed to live up to the hype. The film received lukewarm reviews, with many criticising the lack of chemistry between Clooney and Pitt. Their on-screen rivalry felt forced and lacked the spark that made their previous collaborations so memorable. The serious tone of the film also dampened their natural charisma. Section 5. John Watts. From Superhero Spectacles to Wolves. John Watts, known for directing the blockbuster Spider-Man films, helmed Wolves. This project was a departure from his previous work, offering him a chance to explore a different genre. However, Wolves didn't showcase Watts's directorial prowess as expected. The film felt generic, lacking the visual flair and narrative complexity that one might anticipate from a director of his calibre. Section 6. A high budget, yet lacking visual spectacle. Wolves had a reported budget of $200 million. With such a hefty sum, one would expect breathtaking visuals and elaborate action sequences. The anticipation was high, and fans were eager to see how the filmmakers would utilize such a massive budget to create a cinematic masterpiece. However, the film fell short in this department. 
Despite the enormous financial resources at their disposal, the visual elements of the movie were surprisingly underwhelming. The audience's expectations were not met, leading to widespread disappointment. The action scenes were sparse and lacked the punch often associated with big-budget productions. Instead of the thrilling edge-of-your-seat moments that viewers had hoped for, the action sequences felt flat and uninspired. There was a noticeable absence of the high-octane excitement that typically characterizes blockbuster films. The film relied heavily on dialogue-driven scenes, which, while well acted, couldn't compensate for the overall lack of visual spectacle. The actors delivered their lines with conviction, and the script had its moments of brilliance. But these elements alone were not enough to carry the film. The lack of dynamic visuals and engaging action left the audience feeling let down. In the end, Wolf serves as a reminder that a high budget does not always guarantee a visually stunning film. Section 7. The Future of Film Streaming vs. Theatres The decision to release Wolf's directly to streaming reflects a growing trend in Hollywood. Even star-studded films are finding it challenging to lure audiences back to theatres. The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated this shift, with streaming services becoming the preferred choice for many moviegoers. This raises concerns about the future of cinema. Will the theatrical experience become a relic of the past? Section 8 The Clooney Pit Magic Lost in translation, Clooney and Pitt are known for their on-screen chemistry. Their playful banter and effortless camaraderie have captivated audiences for years. However, Wolf's failed to capture that magic. The script didn't play to their strengths, and the serious tone of the film stifled their natural charm. The result was a missed opportunity to witness the duo at their best. Section 9 a missed opportunity for both stars and audiences. Wolf's had all the ingredients for success. A stellar cast, a renowned director, and a substantial budget. The anticipation was palpable, with fans eagerly awaiting its release, and critics predicting it to be a blockbuster hit. The marketing campaign was extensive, creating a buzz that promised an unforgettable cinematic experience. However, the film ultimately failed to deliver. Despite the high expectations, the final product left much to be desired. The initial excitement quickly turned into disappointment as audiences found themselves disengaged and critics penned scathing reviews. The lack of chemistry between the leads, the uninspired narrative and the overall execution were major letdowns. The performances which should have been the film's strength, felt forced and unconvincing. The storyline, instead of being gripping and original, was predictable and dull. The absence of visual spectacle left audiences underwhelmed. The special effects, which were heavily advertised, turned out to be subpar, failing to create the immersive experience that was promised. The cinematography lacked the creativity and finesse that could have elevated the film. Wolf's serves as a reminder that even with the biggest names attached, success is not guaranteed. The film industry is unpredictable, and even the most promising projects can falter if the execution is lacking. A film needs a compelling story and strong execution to truly resonate with viewers. It's not just about having a star-studded cast or a big budget. It's about creating a narrative that captivates and moves the audience. Wolf's, unfortunately, missed this mark, leaving both stars and audiences with a sense of what could have been. <laughs>